home designer at A to Z Renovation. We're a design build firm where we both provide the design and then are the general contractors on the project. I'm currently standing in a completed bathroom project we did here in Brooklyn Heights. I'm gonna go ahead and give you a tour. So for this project, we weren't really making any changes to the layout. The client just wanted the finishes to reflect her own personal style. The one change we did want to make is to get rid of this wall bump out, but that was not an option, so we did end up keeping it, but tiling it in. Now the client's main concern for her space was storage. So we tried to optimize the storage wherever we could. Starting off in the shower, we've got this very wide niche centered on the main wall. Not only do you have storage running along the niche itself, we also put in a tempered glass shelf so the client can store bigger bottles here and smaller items such as a bar of soap or a loofah up on the top shelf. Now typically in a bathroom, you'll have a mirror or a medicine cabinet centered above the vanity. In this case, again, the client really wanted to optimize your storage capacity, so we went ahead and put two medicine cabinets, one above the vanity and one above the toilet. One is right hinged, one is left hinged, so now when the client is using this area, she has full access to all of these additional shelving for storage. So aside from the two medicine cabinets in the vanity area, we also have a full height recess medicine cabinet over here. So you'll notice this one is installed inside the wall, so the depth of all the shelving is accessed from the outside, but it's all in here, which is great because it doesn't protrude when you're you know, stepping out of the shower, you still have that full depth of clearance over here. The client opted to go ceiling height with these wall tiles. They're from the same series as the floor tiles, so again, a very cohesive feel, going all the way up to the ceiling for that more luxurious look. And then again, matching the two by two mosaic tiles in the niche, so you have a matching finish, but a different size just for a little bit of variation. The client opted to go with polished chrome finishes throughout the space. So we've got this shower set from Kohler, this uh, shower drain, you've got the handle accessory, and throughout the space you'll notice all of the metal finishes match. So the accessories such as the towel bar, the metal edge trim, even the door handle, they're all the same and matching finish, just again for a really cohesive feel in the space. So a couple of details on the shower. First off, we've got this sliding shower door on this track over here, frameless, really nice configuration. And then if you step into the shower, you'll notice that the floor tiles are the exact same finish inside as outside, but they are a different size. So these are two by two mosaic tiles, which is really important for the tile installer so that you can pitch them all towards the drain so the water goes towards the drain properly. Um, it is a nice feature that it matches the outside. It's a very cohesive look while still being the proper size. For the vanity itself, you'll notice that the under out sink takes up the space where the first draw would be. So this isn't actually a draw, it's just a little tilt out accessory, so you could store smaller items such as hair ties or clips in this draw. The bottom draw is a plumbing draw, meaning there's a cutout going around where the plumbing is. So again, you're really utilizing the storage capacity to the fullest extent. This vanity is also wall mounted, so you'll notice you have room underneath it for a scale or a mop if you're cleaning, it's just a little easier to take care of a vanity when it's not on the floor considering there is water in the bathroom. Another really nice feature about this vanity, you'll notice these strips over here. There was an electrical upgrade, I'm going to go ahead and turn on that light for you. That's a really nice feature, just a little night light if you don't want the overhead fixture or the medicine cabinet lighting to be on, you could just leave this on at night, it's just very convenient. So let's discuss the lighting plan for this bathroom. We've got three switches, all on dimmers. Um, first up, the overhead light, a really nice fixture over here, again, with that dimmer. Next, we have the two medicine cabinets put on one switch together with a dimmer, which I find this adjustment to be really convenient when you're, let's say, doing your makeup or your hair. You don't have that lighting a bit too harsh. And then the third is the night light and the vanity, which is touch activated as well. Once it turns off, they can show you how that works. So here we go. It's a very convenient feature for the middle of the night when you don't necessarily want to deal with the switches. Okay, so you're probably wondering, this is a huge commitment. You're about to design your bathroom. You want to make sure everything is to your liking. There are so many different finishes, so many different options out there. How do you know that the finishes you're choosing are the ones that are right for the space? How do you know that you're going to like how they look all together if you're just looking at samples? So one tool I use with my clients that 
really gives them a lot of reassurance is a 360 rendering tool. So while we're in the showroom planning out the different finishes for the space, where everything will go, I design a 360 panoramic view, which the client can review and immediately know, you know, I like how that looks, ooh, I don't like that finish next to each other, let's switch this out with that. And using this tool, they're really able to envision their space before committing to it. So I'm going to show you an example of the 360 rendering for this bathroom that the client approved. So here we have the vanity, toilet, the door with the door hook. There we have that um, steam pipe that couldn't come down. We've got the shower configuration down to the mosaic floor tiles, tile and drain, the niche configuration, etc. We've all got that there. One really cool feature, if you're actually looking at it from the vanity, you can go ahead, 360 of your space before demolition. So you see exactly how that looks. So, so again, while renovating is a huge commitment, you do want to make sure everything is to your liking in advance. Making sure you work with a designer and a contractor that you trust, someone that can really show you the space before committing, it just, it's very reassuring during the entire process. And that's what we do here at A to Z Renovation. I hope you enjoyed this tour. Follow our page for more content like this, and I hope to meet with you soon.